Amulet Storm is back and even better, but in order to get there, we had to cut gifts and given for Song of Creation plus some other changes. Let's go check it out. These are the updates. If you caught that last video, you already know what's different, but if you didn't, check out the card above. That is the previous video with Gifts and Given in it. Obviously, Gifts and Given is the big card that's missing. Today, instead, we're playing Song of Creation. As I continue to test the deck, Gifts and Given was just the least valuable card over and over again, and this was a suggestion from the member section of the Storm Discord, and it made perfect sense to me. We played in the Epic Storm, it gives you more land drops, it allows you to draw your entire library so you can win more efficiently with Thassa's Oracle. It's just brilliant. So I really like the idea of Song of Creation, but we wanted to further the idea a little bit. Serum Visions was always terrible during the mid combo because it's good in the early game because you get to see three cards digging for your amulet of vigor we love that but in the mid combo you never got to sculpt your draws drawing a random card wasn't very good so instead today we're playing joint exploration which is another preordained type effect to cost two but it also has kicker for a green and you can put a land from your hand onto the battlefield which obviously generates mana with amulet of vigor so you get preordained that makes mana and that's exactly what our deck wants so we're even further in on additional land drops we're also playing is it charm as a way to interact with things that might stop us like force of negation or orcish bowmasters or mid combo it turns some of our dead lands into live draws additionally we're playing one extra copy of wish that's because well our only win condition is in the cyborg today and that's the thassa's oracle it also can get you that simic growth chamber you might need to combo off which is pretty helpful or underworld breach to replay escape to the wilds etc so just having more wishes is exactly what we want i've played this deck list a few times now i'm really enjoying it let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below i'd love to hear from you but we're gonna hop on into match number one i'm excited to showcase this build see you there if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe you can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel you get sweet perks such as badges emotes early access to videos exclusive members only content and access to our members discord section as you increase the tiers there are other rewards such as shop discounts cyborg guides and even free donation decks click the join button down below to find out more we also have other ways you can support us like the epicsworm.com shop or submitting a donation deck via the epicsworm.com slash donation decks that's enough for now let's play some magic welcome to the first match we're on the play and one thing that we discussed a lot building this deck is do you want to play gigantha because the main deck it's entirely free but in the sideboard it does shut off force of vigor from being a card you want to play also if you choose to play leyline of sanctity and well or it also just never came up like playing Gigantha. I played it in a number of leagues and it never really felt great. So we're not playing Gigantha unlike our opponent. All right. So here we have a reasonable hand, but it doesn't have a amulet. If we find amulet, it has everything we need to win. I'm going to choose to keep this. Leyline of the Guild Pack times two. Okay. So I will lead on the Besaju who endures and then we'll pass the turn. On turn two, we can play the Mycosynth Gardens and then Preordain. Or we can play the Simic Growth Chamber. They begin with a Triome. Okay. Growth Spiral. I'll play the Mycosynth Gardens. Let's make a blue. And Preordain. I guess I can... Do I want to keep the island? I think I'm just going to... If I keep the island, I don't need to play the Simic Growth Chamber to cast Joint Exploration. And I don't want to play the Growth Chamber. But I also, like, we have so many lands. I'm going to bottom it. We find Hedge Maze. So one other change that we've made is our mana base is slightly different. We're no longer playing three fetch lands. It felt so silly to me to be playing three fetch lands and just a couple fetchables. And then over the course of playing games, I felt like those lands weren't really great, but I was sorely missing things like Atawara or Besaju Who Endures. So today we are playing those cards. All right, still no amulet. We'll play Hedge's Maze. Trigger the Surveil. Explorer needs to go to the graveyard. Pass the turn. And our opponent's on a pretty fast clock here. They have a five power creature in hand. And if they're on the Domain Zoo deck, they do have Tribal Flame. So we could be dead in two turns. They attack for five. I'll go to 15. All right. Well, I'm dead next turn to a Tribal Flames. Urza Saga, I think, is too slow at this point. 
Okay, so I will play... I guess I could kick the joint exploration. Let's do that. We did not find it. We'll put both of these on the bottom. We'll put Is It Boiler Works into play. We'll pick up the hedge maze. And then we'll play hedge maze. Maybe I should have mulliganed this hand not having access to the amulet. Because we've seen roughly 25% of our deck and have not found it. So maybe that's my own fault. And now they can attack for 10. They discard a lightning bolt. As I mentioned, I'm dead to tribal flames. Also, stubborn denial is very good right here. And they did have the tribal flames. So my own fault for keeping a hand without amulet. I should have known better, even with the preordain in it. Okay, so I am interested in Force of Vigor. This deck often plays four copies of Damping Sphere, which is a problem for us. We'll board out one Is It Charm. And actually, do I want the Is It Charm versus this deck? I think it's one Is It Charm, one Joint Exploration. And then maybe the Haywire might instead of... So I built a cyborg guide for this, but with the way that this deck works is you're actually like, without having a bad card in your deck like Serum Visions, you're really stretched on like what you want to have in your deck. Like, do you want Veil of Summer? Because they do side in, uh, a, like post board they have five counters, but like, do you want Veil of Summer? Uh, it's tough to figure out. And if you do, you're supposed to board out like, is it charms? Maybe I'm supposed to bring in the Veils. This hand is great. We'll keep, we'll play Urza Saga and Amulet. Pass the turn. Wooded Foothills pass. Growth Spiral, okay. And I think I'm going to just pass the turn here. I could play out the Besaju. Hmm, maybe I should. Yeah, let's play out the Besaju. I could always pick it up if I want to use it later. They select a Breeding Pool, okay. Sacred Foundry. And a Brawler. Okay, so we're going to attempt to win on our turn. We'll draw Urza Saga. We'll tap for mana. Finding Is It Charm here was not the worst. We'll pick up an Amulet of Vigor. Play Simic Growth Chamber. You want to click on the Bounce Effect last. Well, technically, you want to click on it first so it resolves last. That's actually the proper thing to do here. All right, we have five mana, and now we'll pick up the Growth Chamber. Let's play Growth Spiral. We'll put Gruel Turf into play and make some red mana this time. Pick up the Gruel Turf. And now we'll play Joint Exploration with Kicker. Put the Charm on the bottom. We'll keep Growth Spiral. Put Simic Growth Chamber onto the battlefield. And then we'll pick up the Growth Chamber. We'll play a Growth Spiral. Ooh, Escape to the Wilds. Let's go. And we're storming off on turn three. Pick up the Growth Chamber. We'll play Escape to the Wilds. We hit Explore and another Growth Spiral. Those are both pretty good here. Let's play some Growth Chambers, our land off of the Escape to the Wilds. Pick up our land. We'll play Explore using a blue mana. Let's play this Is It Boiler Works. Make a bunch of mana, return stuff to our hand. Cycle this Mana Morphos. We'll make red and green. Another Amulet, all the mana in the world. Preordain. We'll bottom both of these. Another Amulet. So mana's not our choke point. Preordain. Bottom, bottom. Micah's and Gardens will play a Growth Spiral. Semi Growth Chamber. So we're looking a little thin here. If we can find a payoff off of this Is It Charm, we'll be in much better shape. But this is sort of why Is It Charm's in the deck is at some point, we are a 21 land deck and you need to filter into action. We'll draw two, discard two. Another Is It Charm, we're running thin. Discard a Growth Chamber and Mycosynth Gardens. We'll draw two, discard two. Song of Creation, okay. Discard the Gruel Turf. So I actually don't have red mana right now, so we're going to need to make some with this Joint Exploration. I'll keep the Explorer. We'll put the Boiler Works on the table. And now we'll make a ton of red mana. But it also took us until halfway through our deck to find one of our four copies of Song of Creation and only one of our Escape to the Wilds, which is a little bit unlucky. We'll play Song of Creation, and this should allow us to easily draw the rest of our deck. We'll play Explore, Auto Yield to this ability, Escape to the Wilds. I believe this is going to give us three land drops. Okay, 22 cards left. We'll play Is It Boiler Works. We have not seen a Wish yet. Return the Is It Boiler Works after making a bunch of mana. We'll play Explore. I mean, I still have other land drops, I think. 
to my growth chamber. Mana is no longer the choke point. We just have, need to draw our deck into Ethos's Oracle. And one of the nice things about playing Atawara is you can bounce your Song of Creation once you're ready. You cannot Besage it because Besage specifically says opponent. So we'll return the growth chamber. We can play the Atawara, which seems odd, but by playing it, you can tap it for mana and then play another bounce land and then return the Atawara to your hand. So even if you exile it, you have ways to play around that. I, I didn't need to play Atawara here, but I just want to showcase that it is an option. And now we'll return the Atawara, play another copy of Escape to the Wilds. We'll play Wish. We'll Wish again. Let's Manamorphose. This will bring us down to five cards left in deck, that is. We will Explore. This will bring us down to two cards. We will Atawara the Song of Creation. And let's play Thassa's Oracle. Triggers, and that should be the game. All right, now we need to win game number three. Is a charm saved our butt there, where if I had Veil of Summer, we probably would have lost that game. I think I'm going to choose to try to play through their five pieces of counter magic rather than boarding in Veil. Double Amulet of Vigor, no lands. Hurts my soul. We have to mulligan. So this has preordained, but no amulet. I mean, I think you're probably supposed to keep this. Like, mulliganing to five is uh, it's tough, too. But, I mean, you, you can't just mulligan to oblivion, and I think this hand is reasonable. Joint Exploration will play out Awara and Preordain. I think we want both of these. Pass the turn. Our opponent plays a Savai Trioman Passes. We'll play Urza's Saga. And then Joint Exploration is an instant. You don't need to play it into their uh, Stubborn Denial. You can just pass the turn. They play Steam Vents. And they're strongly representing Stubborn Denial here. All right, on the end step, I will Joint Exploration. I think we keep the Preordain. Saga goes to the second chapter. Drawing the Gardens here was huge. Preordain. Amulet of Vigor. Keep that. We'll play Amulet and see if we can draw out a Stubborn Denial. And they do use the Stubborn Denial on Amulet of Vigor. Okay. Scion of Draco. They have three cards remaining. They attack for five, I will go to 15. Okay. Hedge Maze, we will tap for a colorless. Pick up an Amulet of Vigor. Let's attempt to copy and see what they do. If they have a Leyline Binding, I can always force a Vigor, the Scion, and the Leyline. And it looks like it is going to be a Leyline Binding. Okay. They have two cards. Our Gardens does not copy because it's not in play anymore. We'll play the Hedge Maze. We'll surveil away the Boiler Works. In their upkeep, I will force of vigor the leyline binding in the scion, exile and growth spiral. They have fluster storm, one of their two remaining cards. I think that just beat us. Wow. I can't pay. I believe we're done. What a draw. I mean, their overall draw, not a specific draw step, but I mean, sometimes you just get outplayed, outdrawn, it happens. But they I mean they opened up on Stubborn Denial, Fluster Storm, Fast Clock, plus Leyline Binding. Another Force of Vigor. That wouldn't keep me alive even if I could cast it normally, because they have eight additional power in play. Yeah, they got me. Good games. So we're gonna start this league off zero and one, but this was a good match. You can't change my mind. Let's try to win the next four. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Round number two, we're on the draw. I will keep this. Blood Crypt, okay. Song of Creation's a good pickup. We'll play the Urza Saga past the turn. Grief Exiling Orcish Bowmasters. You got it. They take Song of Creation. I think I'm okay with that. But it looks like they might have an Undying effect here. And they do. They take our Preordain. Urza Saga goes to the second chapter. 
I'll play Besage you here because I could Manamorphose into Is it Charm as an option. Land number three, they'll attack for four. I will fall to 16. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. I don't think I care about that, sure. All right, I do think that we're supposed to Manamorphose, so let's cast this. We'll do Blue Red, Song of Creation, and now we'll draw two, discard two. Micah Synth Gardens is a good draw here. Discard Thundering Falls and Atawara. There's a Saga, we'll tap it. Let's go get our amulet. And then we'll play Gardens and Copy. Pass the turn. They discard zero cards to Fable the Mirror Breaker. They dash a Ragavan. So now they'll attack for eight, and I'll go to eight. They hit my top card, which is a Growth Spiral. I can't imagine them wanting to play that. Karaxa. This will put me to five. I'll discard the Mycosynth Gardens. All right, time to party. We will play Is It Boilerworks? We get a couple triggers here. And we'll pick up the Boilerworks. Play Escape to the Wild. So I could play Song of Creation here, but then I can't cast the Escape. So it's better to just play Escape to the Wilds. We did not hit a Green Land here, but we did hit a Manamorphose. So we will play Is It Boilerworks? Generate some mana. Return the Isa Boiler Works. Move our cards we can play out of the way. And we'll make two green mana here. Simic Growth Chamber, perfect hit. We'll play Growth Spiral. Simic Growth Chamber. I think we probably have this one now. I don't know what's going on here. My, my windows keep moving. Return the Growth Chamber. And now I can play Song of Creation into the Growth Chamber. We'll make some mana and then return our growth chamber to hand. Play explore. Draw two. Play is a boiler works. Return the boiler works. I've yet to do double song of creation. I'm kind of afraid, but I also sort of want to try it. All right, here goes nothing. And by nothing, I mean hoping that I don't deck myself. Play the amulet. Draw four. Play is a boiler works. Make six mana. Theoretically, I should be able to Ottawara bounce both songs before it's ever relevant. Play Explore. Simic Growth Chamber. We'll play Wish because I can. This brings us down to 19 cards. Preordain. We'll bottom both of these. 14 cards left. Manamorphose. This should bring us down to 9 cards. So if I play Amulet here, that should be five cards, and then Oracle will be one card. Oracle triggers. They bolt the Oracle, but I still have two Sign of Creations in play, so we'll still win the game. Sweet. And then we're facing an Orcish Bowmaster's Grief deck, so we definitely want four copies of Veil of Summer. I think you could probably shave on Is It Charm. Those are cards that I think are a little bit expendable. And then it's Manamorphose versus Joint Exploration. I think you could probably cut one of each. Let's try this. All right, so this hand is surprisingly good. I'm going to keep it. Nice grief, nice thought seize. Do whatever you want. Grief exiling thought seize. Seven lands, baby. Nice grief. Does it come in playable? Oh, you have the undying. Oh, that's a shame that you took zero cards out of my hand. So we could try to play gardens first and play the saga game. I just don't know if the saga game is fast enough. All right, I'll play Gardens first. Hopefully it doesn't bite me in the butt. They attack for four. I'll go to 16. No turn to play. We'll play Urza Saga. Pass the turn. All right, I go to 12. We'll draw on Saga. We'll go to the second chapter. Amulet was a good draw here. I'm trying to think. If I play Amulet, I can then make a construct in my main phase, but I wouldn't have a mana to construct next turn and if i saga now next turn i guess i could all right we'll play saga pass i can always ottawara the grief i will lose a life but it's a play we can make i'm at eight blood moon that's devastating um we can it's gonna kill both my sagas that's unfortunate destroy the blood moon and they have another grief. All right, they got me. They got me. 
I will stand by the fact that I did not lose this game to grief. I definitely lost it to Blood Moon. I could board in Force of Vigor. I don't think I want to, though. It's just going to water down my deck. I'm going to resubmit. On the play for game three. You can't keep this. Mulligan. This hand is not playable, so we'll go to five. This hand is playable. Okay, so... You could bottom besage you and then, like, Song of Creation? You're, you're, like, with this hand, you're sort of just hoping they don't have a turn one discard spell. And then you can have Veil of Summer open on turn two. Blood Crypt. Into Grief. Yep, all three games. Turn one Grief plus Undying Effect. There goes the Veil of Summer. Oh, no Undying Effect. How about that? Ragavan. You draw a Wish. Play the Gardens. They attack with Ragavan. Well, good 18. They get to create a treasure. Growth Spiral. Calgan's Command. Okay, we'll discard Wish. I mean, we could still win this. I mean, obviously that's not ideal, but we still have access to double amulet here. So we'll activate Saga. Grab amulet. Copy the amulet. And now we're sort of just in a, we have to draw some growth chamber mode. If we draw a growth chamber, we're still in this. On a mulligan to five, where we were griefed and hit by Colgan's command. Thought sees, pick your poison. It doesn't matter. They discard explore. We'll go to 16. Is it charm? Angrat's rampage. What? Brutal. Okay. Not feeling too optimistic right now. I have not seen Angrat's rampage in a long time. A little surprised to see that one out of our opponent. They have one card in hand. I'm at 14. And we're not drawing terribly well. They attack. I'll go to 12. They hit a Mycosynth Gardens. Explosives on one. All right, then. We'll go to 10. Is it Boiler Works? That's one I would have liked to have drawn. Veil of Summer. We have to pass. Orcish Bowmasters. Yep. Now they're attacking for four. We'll follow the five. And another Bowmaster. So I don't think there's a single draw we have to get us out of this. We had multiple draw steps just completely miss, unfortunately. So there was no real way of getting out of it. We're a 21 land deck and we never saw an open or never saw a land that we did not keep in our opening hand, for example. So when that happens, you kind of just get got. And here they have the shield red. So we'll draw and then go to one. We didn't have a draw to get us out of it anyway. But unfortunately, we're zero and two. This deck is better. I promise. It is better. I've been playing it. It feels better when I play it. But we haven't won a match yet. I believe we can win the next three. Let's see if we can do it. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. On the draw for match number three, we've opened up a reasonable hand. Let's give it a go. They play a Verdant Catacombs into an Overgrown Tomb. A Noble Hierarch, so likely the Yawgmoth combo deck. We draw a Preordained. We'll just play an Urza Saga and pass. They play another Mana Dork. Into Besaju. Okay, so we will grab... Hedge Maze and Surveil. I do not want the Izzet Charm that can go to the graveyard. Song of Creation. Let's start off on a Preordain. We can bottom both of these. Play Urza Saga and pass the turn. They play a Young Wolf. Another copy of Delighted Halfling. And they do not attack. So they might have a Court of Calling in hand. We draw a Wish. Play the Mycosynth Gardens and we'll pass. Orcish Bowmasters. We can win through that, but it's a little bit annoying. We're at 19. They're attacking for 5, so I will fall to 14. Oh, um, did I miss my block already? Yep, I did. I needed to do it in Declare Attackers. That's my bad. I just punted. Made this a little harder on myself than it needed to be. We'll go search out an amulet. 
And I'm going to keep the Microsynth Gardens around. Because I think I might want the extra green mana. We'll play Amulet. Let's start off on Is It Boiler Works. Yeah, I definitely just messed that up, though. I could have gotten that Bowmaster off the table. Return the Boiler Works. So I can play Song of Creation, which obviously draws a lot of cards. Um, the problem is that I don't have much green mana right now. And we can play Wish and Avail of Summer at some point and just completely ignore the Bowmasters. Or I can just play Escape into the Wilds, which might be better in this spot. Let's play Escape. Another Amulet. And a Growth Chamber. I like that. So we'll play Amulet. Play the Growth Chamber. Growth Chamber trigger goes on the bottom. And now we'll make 6 mana. Return it to our hand. Play Growth Spiral. Put Boil Works onto the table. They deal me a damage. I don't care. Now I'll return the Boiler Works. So I have a total of 10 mana. I think we should play Song of Creation. I can live through a couple pings here. We'll play the Growth Chamber, make some more mana. Also, we're definitely going through the test in these first three uh, matches. I mean, Domain Zoo, the best deck in the format at the moment, at least according to MTG Goldfish data. And then last round we faced uh, Racto Scam, which was the previous back stack in the format before the, uh, the new set. Now it's sort of fallen off to the fifth or sixth. But I mean, Racto Scam is not a deck to joke about. It's obviously very good. We'll play Veil of Summer. And I realized that I could have Is It Charmed the Orcish Bowmasters. I think I like the this better because if they have another Orcish Bowmasters, I don't care. Let's play another Song of Creation. We'll play Is It Boiler Works? Making the mana. We'll play Mana Morphos. This draws five cards. And at this point, we're just trying to empty our library. Green, red. Mana Morphos again. We'll do blue, red. Another Mana Morphos. Five more cards off the top rope. We'll play Wish. Brings us down to 14. Amulet of Vigor will bring us down to 10 cards left in deck. Play Mana Morphos. This will bring us down to five cards in deck, and then Oracle will be one. And then Thos is Oracle. Sweet. All right, game number one goes to us. Their Orc was a 40-40. I love that. Okay, so we're facing Yawgmoth combo. They do have some Thought Seizes. I wonder if we even want to bring in Veils. Yeah, I guess, like, they beat Orcish Bowmasters, so we probably want them. Because, like, Bowmasters is their best card against us. But as even if you saw in that game, like, you could just win through it. We'll do two Explorations and two Manamorphos. Try this out. Game number two, our opponent's taking a mulligan, and so will we. I will not mulligan this hand, though. We will bottom the Preordain. First turn, Surveil Land. Gets rid of a Young Wolf. Explore. We're looking like we're set up for a turn three win here. Amulet of Vigor passed the turn. Turn to Pendle Haven into Visaju on my Saga. Interesting. We'll grab a Hedge Maze. Why not the Amulet? Let's... I'll keep the song. Not sure on that decision, but oh well. We'll play another Urza Saga. Pass the turn. Wall of Roots. Into another wall of roots, they have two cards left in their hand. I'm going to keep my joint exploration because it's fuel for the combo turn. Speaking of the combo turn, here we go. Turn three, even through a Besaju? Oh boy. Is a Boiler Works. Okay, we'll make some mana. Return the Boiler Works. Tap for a green. We'll play Song of Creation. Play the Boiler Works. Untap. Untap. Pick up the Boiler Works. We'll cast Manamorphos. We're going to make green green here. Draw two. Another Manamorphos. Beautiful. Play Explore making or using a blue. Another Explore. And another Amulet. We'll play the Amulet using the blue. Is it Boiler Works? Okay. We still have a green. Let's Manamorphos. We can convert one of this red into green. Preordain. Growth Spiral. Still digging for a semi-growth chamber here. We'll bottom both of those, and the opponent concedes! Alright, first win on the map. Two matches left to go. Let's go win those.
If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. We've won a die roll on the play for match number four. Our opponent reveals a Gigantha. We've opened up a hand that would be playable if we had a regular land in it, but we don't. And I think that this hand is also a mulligan. We'll go to five. Bummer. I think, we're sp I think we have to go to four. Brutal. Okay, we're priced into keeping this. Mulligan to four is not what I wanted. Reordain. Okay, Saga's not bad here. So in four, on turn four, we'll be set up to achieve our combo because we'll have Amulet, we'll be able to copy Amulet, and we'll have a crew land. So it's possible we win this game on a mulligan to four. I'm not saying we're going to, but the possibility is there. They have a Verdant Catacombs, Stomping Ground. I have no idea what this is. All right, so it has Death Touch as long as you have three or more artifacts. Whenever an artifact enters the battlefield, under your control, game one. If this is the first time this is resolved this turn, put a 1-1 counter on it. Okay, weird one. We'll play the Saga. Pass. They go to 15. Another Worm. And the Underworld Cookbook. So this is a food deck if I had to take a wild guess here. We'll take two, down to 18. Are we going to win on a mulligan to four? I would love that. We draw a Thundering Falls and Urza Saga goes to the second chapter. We'll play our Gardens and pass the turn. They activate the Underworld Cookbook to make a food. And it's going to trigger the Worms, so they'll gain some life here and get a little bit bigger. They could have done this before they attacked, but chose... Oh no, I guess it's once per turn. Ignore me. Uh, I'm incorrect. I realized it the second I opened up my mouth. They play their own copy of Urza's Saga. And an Inti. So they make a food, they get to play the top card of their library, their creatures get a little bit bigger, all fun stuff. They play a Mishra's Bobble, and now they're attacking for eight. They give this creature plus one, plus one, and trample. I'll make the construct now, and then we'll block the creature that doesn't have trample. So we're going to go to 13. And if we want to win this, we need to draw into like a explore or growth spiral, something along those lines. They pick up another underworld cookbook. So making a blocker isn't going to be a choice with the Asmo in play. So I should not make a construct. And they have lethal on board. So it really depends on our draw step here. Turn four is possible on a mulligan to four, but we need a good draw step here. That might be able to do it. Well, add a mana. Certainly better than Serum Visions. We'll grab an Amulet of Vigor, copy the Amulet, play Gruel Turf, okay, and then we'll return the Gruel Turf to our hand, and joint exploration with Kicker. So we'll get to scry two and then draw. Um, I think we keep the Boiler Works on top, but we draw the Escape to the Wilds here. That was actually a perfect surveil, or perfect scry, I mean, I'm sorry. So now we'll play the Gruel Turf. And by play, I mean put it into play because that's what joint exploration does. When testing, I actually found a weird thing that I thought was a bug, but it actually isn't. So if, let's say you're comboing out, you have multiple amulets, you've played Song of Creation, you're doing the thing, right? You're having a great time. And then you Ottawara your own Song of Creation and then play Explore. You do not get another land drop because the game has recognized that you've already played a um a land that turn that you no longer have access to however joint exploration or growth spiral put the land onto the battlefield and that's completely different so you could then put a land onto the battlefield but if you were to explore later you still lose that land drop i hope that makes sense i've confirmed this with a level five judge so i'm positive with the interaction okay so we've hit some spells here Let's play the Is It Boiler Works, which will allow us to play Song of Creation or this Joint Exploration. Feeling pretty good about this. We've made some mana, now we'll pick up the Is It Boiler Works. So I can play Song of Creation and then play another land. Yeah, this, this works. And now we'll play Gruel Turf, make some more mana, and then pick up the Gruel Turf. 
And now we can play Joint Exploration with Kicker. Draw two. Another amulet, don't mind if I do. These can both go on the bottom, we don't need those. I believe I want Is a Boiler Works here. And then we'll pick up the land. We'll play another amulet, which draws two cards. And a Growth Spiral, so that's even more mana. We'll play the Growth Spiral. And we definitely have the win from here, without a doubt. Before, it was like a highly probable, and that just sealed the deal. And now we'll play an Explore, another Growth Chamber. I could probably quit narrating this because you don't need to see me click and draw through the rest of the deck, but I don't know. I'll make this a little bit easier. We'll play Song of Creation. I'm just trying to make this as efficient as possible at this point. All right, so I've played a few exploration or a few explorers and another Song of Creation that's hiding behind my sideboard over here. I'm just trying to get to the point now where we can play Arthas' Oracle and win the game. Nine cards left, which means that Manamorphose into Oracle is exact. Sweet. Game number one on a mulligan to four. We probably want to bring in Force of Vigor and the Haywire Might. We'll board out two Joint Exploration and one Is It Charm. Let's try this. Game two, we've opened up a hand that doesn't function. We'll send it back. This seems reasonable to me. We don't have an amulet, but I think you're supposed to keep this. Put Growth Spiral on the bottom. They fetch for a Stomping Ground and Haywire Might. Okay. Song of Creation, Preordain. I'm going to bottom the Manamorphose, but keep the Hedge Maze. We do have Force of Vigor for this Haywire Might, but I'm going to try to sit on this for a little bit, try to get another card. Like this Urza Saga. Aya. So their permanents die, Haywire Might gains our opponent two life. We'll play the Hedge Maze, Surveil. We can bend the Song of Creation, play the Preordain. Get rid of the Wish, and unfortunately, I think you're supposed to get rid of the Mycosynth Gardens as well. And uh, We draw our own Haywire Might. We only play one, but we drew it. They play Blood Crypt, four cards in hand. Okay, they play a Grizzly Bear. We draw Beseju. I think I'm going to actually play the Beseju here, because I think I might want to kick this Joint Exploration. We have to bottom both of these. We'll put Semi Growth Chamber into play. And then we'll bounce the Hedge Maze past the turn. They attack, it triggers, so they can discard a card and then give their creature plus one, plus one, and trample. And then if they do, whenever a creature attacks this turn, if they discarded a card or something like that, they can play the top card of their deck and they reveal a Beseju who endures. There it is. So I'll take three down to 17. They could play the Beseju as their land for the turn, and they don't. Instead, they play Wooded Foothills. And an Asmo. Okay. And they could not find an Underworld Cookbook. That's odd. Okay, maybe they misclicked. We'll play the Hedge Maze. Surveil 1. Can't use the Izzet Charm. That will go to the graveyard. And I'll pass. In their beginning of combat, I'm going to bounce their creature. Try to slow them down a little bit here. And they choose to not attack us. That's interesting. They replay their creature and pass the turn. Oh my, Doc, what are you doing to me here? Um, I think I'm supposed to play the Semi-Growth Chamber. We'll pick up the Hedge Maze. And now they're attacking, they can discard a card and will end up being 6 damage. And with that 6 damage, I will be at 11. They reveal a Questing Druid. I'm definitely running out of time. They seek the Beast. And they reveal a Ragavan and a Mishra's Bobble. Pretty good. Okay. They draw off the Mishra's Bobble. We draw an Is a Charm. Play Haywire Might. And a Hedge Maze. Can't use Escape to the Wilds. If you count Scrys to the bottom, we've definitely seen over a third of our deck this game and have not found a red mana source. We will block. End up taking 5 down to 6. And then I'll gain 2. So I'll be up to 8. But they still have Lethal on board next turn. I don't think I have a draw that like, I would need an untapped red source, and I don't think our deck even has an untapped red source in it. And they just hit the gruel turf. We finally draw a red source, but it's far too late. Okay, off to game number three. I think I'm good to just resubmit here. On the play. Okay, so our hand 
I mean, it has red and green mana and blue mana, everything we could want, but no access to amulet. We only have a joint exploration to dig. I think you're actually supposed to just mulligan this. Okay. I think you're supposed to go to five. All right. I don't want to go to four. This hand is reasonable enough. We'll play the gardens past the turn. They're back with their one mana worm. Okay. Preordain. Cannot play that this turn. The gardens does not tap for mana without a mana into it. So next turn I could play joint exploration or preordain, but not this turn. They play a Mishra's Bobble. Their creature gets a little bit bigger. They pick up a stomping ground and a breakout. So they'll look at the top six cards of their library, put a creature with mana value two or less onto the table as haste, and they find one. It is the Inti. So they'll attack, they'll discard a card, put a plus one, plus one counter on their creature, and they've opened up on a really aggressive start. No discard here. I should be worried. They draw off Mishra's Bobble. We find a Hedge Maze. I'm going to preordain here. Double growth chamber, those can both go on the bottom. Escape to the wilds. Not a lot of help. We'll play the hedge maze here. Wish can go to the graveyard. Pass. So next turn, I could play Micah Synth Gardens into Song of Creation. Is it Boiler Works past the turn? That's not a play I want to make, but it's a play that we theoretically could make. They attack again, and this time they do discard. They reveal a mountain. I go to 11. They still have three cards in their hand. We draw another Mycosynth Gardens. Okay, so I think I'm going to go for the big play here. It might not work out, but I'm going to play Song of Creation. And then... Is another Mycosynth Gardens better than is a Boilerworks? Because if I play Boilerworks, I'd pick up the Hedge Maze and then I don't have green mana. So I think you're actually supposed to play another Gardens. Pass the turn. We have to discard our hand. I mean, we're just looking to get lucky next turn. That's the best thing that can happen for us. They play Pick Your Poison. No! Ah, oh, jeez. That's going to be the match. We would have had to get really lucky to win on our turn anyway, but that's going to seal it. Unfortunate. In order to win, we would have needed to draw like a Preordain or an Amulet of Vigor into the other missing combo pieces very quickly. The odds were against us, but there's theoretically a chance with Song of Creation that just went right out the window. So in both games two and three of this match, we struggled to find our key combo piece, which resulted in a loss. Like, I know that I've lost at this point, but I want to see what the draw step would have been. That would not have done it. So even without the Pick Your Poison, we would have lost this. And unfortunately, we're one and three. Let's see if we can, you know, salvage the fifth match, get half my entry feedback. I would like that. And, uh... See you there. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as seven tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. The final round, we're on the draw and I think I'm going to keep this. We are lacking or Karoo land. And I get why that's not ideal, but we do have double Amulet of Vigor. We have some draw steps. And well, I have this wish, which can get the Cyborg Semi Growth Chamber. It requires a little bit of setup, but it is a possibility. Uh-oh, we're facing Tron, who kept a six card hand. Chromatic Sphere. Growth Spiral. So now a Semi Growth Chamber probably wins the game. I mean, it probably did already. We had joint exploration, but oh well. We could win the game even more. There's this tower into a Sylvan Scrying. So they're going to have turn three Tron. If we draw a Semic Growth Chamber right now, we could go for a turn two. And we hit it. Yes, let's go. Oh man, turn two in Tron. Whew. Love it. We'll play the Simic Growth Chamber. And then we'll pick up the Simic Growth Chamber. Play Growth Spiral. Play that Simic Growth Chamber again. Explorer was a fantastic draw. We have a bunch of mana now. Up to six mana. I'm going to play Joint Exploration first, just so I can dig for more uh, red mana. We'll bottom both of these. Simic Growth Chamber. And I'm going to Joint Exploration again. Both of these can go on the bottom. 
Manamorphos was a good hit because now we can play the Song of Creation. Return the Growth Chamber. We will Manamorphose. We'll make Red Red. Play Song of Creation. Play the Growth Chamber. And I believe we just turned to Tron. We have to finish winning, but I'm pretty sure we have it from here. Play the Preordain. We'll draw two, two more Songs of Creation. We'll bottom the gardens, keep the amulet. And I think I want to play another Song of Creation here. There's a Gruel Turf. We'll play Amulet. Play Simic Growth Chamber. Pick up the Growth Chamber. We have eight mana. Play Explore. Is it Boiler Works? Pick up the Boiler Works. 33 cards left in deck. Let's escape to the wilds. We'll play Exploration. 20 cards left. 19 after the draw. We'll play our land, make some more mana. Cast Wish. This will bring us down to 15 cards. Play the Manamorphos. Manamorphos again. And then Thassa's Oracle will bring me down to one card in deck. What's kind of cool about this spot we're in too, is hypothetically, let's say our opponent's a crazy person with a main deck Endurance. You could keep on, so you're like, okay, I have 11 cards in my deck. I will cast Is it Charm, I'll draw six. I'll cast uh, Joint Exploration, I'll draw five, and then empty your deck. You, like, you can actually win after the Endurance is resolved as long as you set it up correctly. All right, we are facing Tron. I don't know if we actually need to sideboard. I think the best thing you can do is actually just resubmit. Okay, so we have a hand that wins, assuming I can draw a land. I think I'm going to take the chance here. I know it's super sketchy. We're on the draw. I'm going to choose to believe in the heart of the cards, okay? Don't judge me. I think that this hand, the juice might be worth the squeeze. And our opponent with a mulligan to four. Like, this could be another turn to win, assuming we hit an untapped land on turn one. They play Ursa's Mine into Chromatic Sphere. Oh my, is that an untapped land on turn one? Is that what I'm looking at right here? <sighs> oh no. Haywire Might. So that's going to stop my turn to win. Why do you gotta be like that? Why do you gotta be like that? We just wanted nice things, and uh, here you are with your Haywire Mites. I mean, we still have another Amulet, but now we need to find another. Thundering Falls, we'll play the Amulet of Vigor. Play Thundering Falls, our land will untap, and then we can surveil one. Oh, is that another Amulet of Vigor? Don't mind if I do. Play Preordain. We will keep... I think you're actually supposed to bottom the growth spiral because we don't actually have a green land. So we would metamorphose for green green. The first green goes into explore. The second green goes into escape the wilds. And then from there, you don't need another growth spiral. What you do need is to find a semi growth chamber. They pick up a nurse's tower. We find a wish. So we'll play the amulet. Is it boiler works? And then we'll pick up the is it boiler works. And now we Manamorphose, green, green, and there's Gruel Turf. We are off to the races. Play the Gruel Turf, pick up the land, we'll play Escape to the Wilds. Two more Escape to the Wilds. And an Explorer, and, oh, that was insane, okay. Opponent, I'm sorry, but you're dead. Pick up the land, we'll play Explore. Simic Growth Chamber, okay, we'll play a Growth Spiral. Put the growth chamber back in play. Another escape to the wilds. Play gruel turf. Play escape to the wilds. Play another gruel turf. So we've seen half of our deck at this point. We'll play joint exploration with kicker. Maybe we want the song? We probably do. Just helps us win the game faster. Alright, so we've made mana. We'll now play song of creation. Play another land. 29 cards left. This should be over fairly shortly. Play another joint exploration. We'll draw two. Is it charm can go on the bottom? We'll keep explore. Semi growth chamber will enter again. Let's escape to the wilds. The last copy of Amulet of Vigor. Play Gruel Turf. Let's play Wish. That brings us down to 15 cards. Explore. This will be 12. Explore, this will be nine. All right, so we've made some more mana. We'll now play a preordain. We just have to finish drawing our deck. 
Song can go on the bottom. We'll keep Manamorphose. Preordain again. We'll put Growth Spiral on the bottom, keeping Growth Spiral. This will put us at three cards. And then the Thassa's Oracle will be one card left in library. And if our opponent has an Endurance, we can just draw those cards all over again. Sweet. So we ended up going two and three, which is not the record that I wanted. Uh, I do think that this deck is better than the record indicates. Like when I was playing this deck, I was, you know, positive record every time. So in today's league, we faced what I would consider to be the top of the format. And I mean, every single round we were facing a tiered deck other than the food deck. Granted, it was one of our wins, but we faced a top deck in every round and we put up fight. It's not like we got absolutely crushed in every round either. And then when you look at a lot of our losses, it was consistency issues. So what do I think moving forward? I think that the main deck is mostly locked into place outside of Is It Charm. I think Joint Exploration is a huge upgrade over Serum Visions, but I do think that the main deck is missing a consistency piece. I think Is It Charm is the slot that I would be looking at from here. Everything else, the Besejus, the Atawaras, everything else seems perfect to me. I am not convinced that four Is It Charm is right. If you wanted to play two, I don't know, Sylvan Scryings or two Serum Visions or, I don't know, uh, the green card that Tron plays to dig five and look for a colorless card because that could find some Growth Chamber or Amulet of Vigor. There's a lot of ways that you could build this deck, and I think that the deck is close. It's just not perfect yet. So if you have any good ideas, because honestly, Song of Creation was not my idea. That came from a member in the Storm Discord. So if you have ideas on how to make this deck truly better, let me know. In that last video, a lot of people are like, well, why would you play this over Amulet Titan? Well, why would you play Gift Storm over this? Like, that's... We're trying to build a storm deck here. We're not trying to recreate Amulet Titan. So, like, Dryad of the Elysian Grove and Primeval Titan don't make sense. But I really do believe that there's something here. And we just need to keep on pushing it to that next level. So, thank you for listening to me preach. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you have a great day. And as always, keep storming. Hey, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. If you're looking for more sweet combo content, we have tons of it over at theepicstorm.com where you can find matchup guides, play-by-play, -play, and storm puzzles featuring a monthly combo expert. You're going to love what we have over there.